Oh well, I'm the nostalgia critic, I remember it, so you don't have to. This is it. This is finally it. The last one. We are at the final Care Bears movie! <laughs> been hard. It's been an enchanting realm of shit watching these movies, but we're finally here. The very last one. Taste the rainbow, motherfuckers! This is Care Bears in Wonderland! Rise and shine, get a glow, cause you know you're gonna shine like the star you are, you are. While these may not be the worst films I've ever seen, there's just an annoyance that goes along with the Care Bears name. And this film is no exception. Not only do they insult the intelligence of the younger audience watching this, but now they insult the intelligence of the Timeless Lewis Carroll books. That's two slaps in the face for one. How bad is it? Well, apparently it wasn't even good enough to get a DVD release. So that means that this... Do you have a house made all out of wood? And this... Time for a game of disappearing bears. Deserves much better treatment than this. <laughs> So we see this time, instead of a movie company making this film, we instead get a movie theater company. Because, obviously, nobody should keep this gift of cinema away from the movie going public. Rise and shine, get a glow, cause you know you're gonna shine. And I guess they actually got Natalie Cole to sing the opening song this time. Another day, rise and shine, get a glow, cause you know you're gonna shine. Give her some credit, though, she puts more energy into it than Carol King. Who sounds like she's singing it in her fucking sleep? It's a rainbow fantasy for laughing out loud. Care a lot is a place we all can go for laughing and singing. So we start off with Grumpy Bear waking up to a strange surprise. A white rabbit is stuck in his mirror. <laughs> Well, must be the side effects of the antidepressants. This one! Oh. Who, who are you? No time for questions! Wow! So it turns out the rabbit is looking for Swiftheart. Why? Get this. Because they're related. Uncle! <laughs> what brings you all the way from Wonderland? Yeah, that's right. The rabbit from Alice in Wonderland is related to the rabbit from Care Bears. No shit! What other family tree surprises do you think are out there? Do you think Slippy is related to Mr. Toad? Or Toto is related to Beethoven? Or Tom Thumb is related to Danny DeVito? The possibilities are just endless! But actually, that's not even the biggest surprise. Here's the real shocker for me. Does anyone know the whereabouts of my niece? One Swiftheart Rabbit by name. Wait a minute, Swiftheart is a chick? I never knew that! Oh my god, I totally thought he was a dude this whole time! I mean, okay, I don't need all women to wear bows and dresses and stuff, but some kind of clue would be nice. I mean, you know, bigger eyelashes or redder lips or... No, no, we're not opening that door again. What brought me here? She did. Uh, her. You and your friends must help me find this girl. Oh, you mean Princess Peach? Yeah, there's no comparison. It's fucking Princess Peach! And we find out later that she's been kidnapped by an evil monster in a magical land from a giant castle. Why is it fucking Care Bears in Wonderland is closer to a Super Mario Brothers movie than the actual Super Mario Brothers movie? Okay, okay, keep the review focused. We're hating this film. So it turns out they have to find this princess character or else. Or else what? Or else an evil wizard will take over all of Wonderland and everyone there will be forced to obey him. So, rather than do something crazy like, oh, I don't know, search Wonderland for her, the rabbit decides to get the Care Bears to roam the Earth and try to find her. Oh, what about breakfast? Has anybody seen this girl? She's so young and small. I just love the fact that the whole world has totally accepted the fact that just Care Bears exist now. For them, it's just an everyday occurrence. We got to get together, got to use our minds. We got to find this girl in this not much time. Nobody questions the fact that these things are walking around. Hell, they even drop by a zoo. How confusing is that to see a bear out of a cage in a fucking zoo? You think they talk to the other bears there? Hey, keep strong, my brother. Fight the good fight. So while they don't find her, they do find a girl that looks very similar to her. Her name is Alice, big surprise, and she's sad because she doesn't feel special. What's the use? They're such special people and I'm... I'm just me. Oh, Dinah! It doesn't matter what I do. 
I'm just not special. No, curse this youthful face, expressive eyes, long flowing hair, perfect teeth, clear skin, and excellent speaking voice. I want to be special! You know, like Susie down the street with her head retainer, bad acne, and unexplained third eye. She's the girl we all want to be! But faster than you can say, who fucking cares? The Care Bears arrive to explain their situation. The resemblance oh. is remarkable, but the rest, the clothes, the hair... You look just like the princess. Princess? Mm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure she's special enough. No, I think we were closer talking to that Susie chick with the three eyes. No! Well, I... I couldn't go alone. You don't have to, Alice. We're ready. And willing. And able. Actually, I sort of meant talking to my parents about going on this whole trip. Oh, yeah, you probably don't want to bring this up to them. Uh, what we're doing is most likely very, very illegal, seeing how you're a minor. Uh, the best way to look at this is just as a whimsical adventure, and that way we don't have to bring in the authorities. Well, couldn't I at least call my mom? Do it or I'll eat you. Okay. So they start going through the mirror when suddenly the evil wizard breaks it to pieces, meaning the team is split up. Rather than just, oh, I don't know, going into another mirror, they decide to find an enchanted hole to climb into. What a coincidence! I also have an enchanted hole these schmucks can climb into. How about looking for breakfast first? Oh yeah, there's a running joke, by the way, that Grumpy constantly starves because he hasn't eaten all day. What's this building up to? Oh, you'll see when we get there. Whoa! Remember this from the much better Disney movie. Oh, you mean with Johnny Depp? No, the much better Disney movie. <laughs> so the two groups venture through Wonderland. As you'd imagine, it's goofy, crazy, and all those other things you come to expect. But then the evil wizard named Evil Wizard sends out his two henchmen, who I can only assume are called Tweedle Annoying and Tweedle Obnoxious. They're sent out to stop them from reaching the castle. Who are you? Uh, 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 the uh, palace told us to uh, to uh, give a uh, uh, the queen. <laughs> the queen. The palace told us to give the queen a lift to uh, 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 you. No, no, no. What, what my brother, brother means is, is the. You may notice a lack of enjoyment emanating from these characters and instead replace with undiluted sodomy of the senses. Now, the reason behind this is... God hates you and he shows it with care bears. The Tweedle Dick and Tweedle Cheese quickly send out their giant red robots for them. That's right, giant robots. Clearly fitting the Victorian-based novel that this hack film was loosely based on. But hey, if Tim Burton can throw in bright dancing, I guess Care Bears can throw in giant robots. But the Care Bears defeat the giant robots and eventually meet up with the other group. Just when they're trying to figure out what to do next, they hear a strange rapping sound. The Cheshire Cat. Who else? You know, I see that princess in a lonely room where the wizard's got her locked away. Now he's one bad dude, he's in a nasty mood, and he wants to be the king someday. You know, it's funny, this is the only character I find myself actually kind of liking in this whole film, but maybe that's because the bar has been set so phenomenally low that even a rapping cat in Alice in Wonderland is on the ups. A few of you get Alice to the palace and the rest hears what to do. Yeah, you'd you like to see a rap off between the rapping cat from Care Bears and the rapping dog from Titanic. Oh God, I said it! Working all day, now it's time to unwind. Now I can see the man behind it, trying to help. He wants to set that princess free. He got me busting the moves and I'll be busting the rhymes. We'll be busting up laughing cause it's party time. Don't forget to finish your own. Don't forget to Don't forget to finish your own. 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 Whoa, I'm so hungry I'm starting to see things. Still building up that joke. You won't believe how disappointing the payoff is. <laughs> <laughs> the lost me hearties. Tis a fair wind and clear sailing ahead. So it turns out they come across a series of hats that makes them believe they're different people. It must belong to the Mad Hatter. I'll bet he left it behind so we could follow him. So that's what the Cheshire Cat meant by use our heads. I suppose he could have told us that straightforward, but it wouldn't have been so forcefully hit. So while they follow the hats, I guess, the other team goes over their battle plan. 
Mr. Rabbit, I was wondering, what exactly does a princess do? Well, mostly sell toys, piss off feminists, and make girls question their own sense of self-worth. Tell me I'm wrong! But then Tweedledip and Tweedleshit drop by and throw her in their evil carriage. So they stop her from getting to the castle as they take her to... the castle! You just brought her to the place she was going anyway! I think your plan's a little backwards, Jafar! I am the Wizard of Wonderland. Well, why don't you leave Wonderland alone? Wonderland needs me. So, of course, he sings about how he wants to bring rules and order to a place where they don't seem to fly. Now, tell me, listening to this song, if this sounds a little bit familiar. And I'm just the man <gasps> for the job. And you feel that you've had quite enough. Don't you ever wonder about Wonderland? How everything is upside down. Remember that you're standing on a planet that's evolving and revolving at 900 miles an hour. Yeah, pretty friggin' close, aren't they? Needless to say, the sequence would be a lot better if there were some animated Terry Gilliam movies floating around. The creatures are so crazy in their Wonderland, they don't know that it's turned around. And I know I talked about this before in my top 11 scariest nostalgic moments, but I'm gonna bring it up again. Just before the evil wizard finishes his song, for a split second he makes one of the scariest faces, period. Everything at my command. Did you miss it? Let's play it again. Everything at my command. God damn, is that freaky! Let it haunt your nightmares for weeks! Oh, don't think it's that bad? Don't think it's that creepy? Let's try replacing it with that scary face from the Don't Be Afraid of the Dark trailer. <laughs> Fucking scary! Do you think for a single moment that a silly, frightened, plain little girl like you could fool anyone into believing that you are a real princess? <laughs> <laughs> so, in a rather bizarre move, he leads her into the room where the queen is, and everybody believes that she's the princess. Well, why did you do that, dumbass? You had her right there, you could have killed her or locked her up or something. Instead, you just sped up their plan! You know, instead of Evil Wizard, I think they should have called you friggin' Dumb Ox! Tomorrow, she shall become Queen of Wonderland! Unlike the queen in the original book, who was nasty and hate-filled, this queen is nice and jolly, and clearly has no idea how to govern because these are some damn weird rules they have to abide by. The wizard has hidden my daughter somewhere to make certain she'll miss the coronation tomorrow. I'll have no choice but to pass my crown on to him. Well, why don't you just stay queen, then? I'd have him cast out of Wonderland this instant, but uh, I have no proof. What if you needed proof in Wonderland? Did you hear the song? Everything's topsy-turvy and upside down. What's with all the laws? With you standing in place of the princess, the wizard cannot be crowned king of Wonderland. And yeah, that's another thing. Have you noticed what the princess's name is? Princess! Have you noticed what the queen's name is? Queen! How can you swear in people in this world of rules and laws when you don't even know what their fucking names are? So they dress her up and teach her how to be all princessy so she can fool the crowd. <laughs> How difficult can drinking tea and playing croquet be? <laughs> Apparently not as hard as finding a good editor. Hang on, little lady! Whoa! Wonderful! You're doing great, Alice! Thanks to my friendly flamingo! I just happen to be the best in the business. Rise and shine, get a glow, cause you know you're gonna shine like the star you are. So by following the hats, the group makes it to a cave where they find the Mad Hatter, who apparently was smart enough to lead people to the princess's location, but not actually smart enough to save her himself. You know, the lack of logic of the character's lack of logic really lacks of logic! That's what? <laughs> you like hats? <laughs> I'm mad about hats! 
Well, I've heard of worse reasons for a song. Uh, now, a hat is a wonderful thing, you see. Everyone's got its own personality. You just uh, slip it on, and instantly you can be anybody that you want to be. You like it? Uh, yeah, um, isn't there a princess we were supposed to save? Uh, a crowning ceremony that could happen at any moment? Um, sort of a time is of the essence thing here, you know? I, uh... Is there a hat to shut you the fuck up? You like hats? <laughs> I'm mad about hats. <laughs> so they find the princess is being held in the living room of the Jabberwocky. Strange, but stupid. Where they get her out and escape the giant beast. <laughs> Let's get out of here! But what about the Jabberwocky? He's got a thorn in his paw! The poor creature. That explains why he's so miserable. Makes me totally forget the fact that he held me hostage and is dooming a nation. So of course they pull the thorn out and the Jabberwocky is suddenly a good guy. Thank you! Oh, you're very welcome, Mr. J -j 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 Dabber Walking. Call me Stan. <laughs> it's much easier to say. Okay, Stan. Yeah, the Jabberwocky that we just met in the third act is named Stan. And yet, there's still three major characters with no names. Where are your priorities, movie? Do you just want us to forget we watched you? So he starts flying them to the castle, where Alice is now being commanded to do the princess test. What's the princess test? It's a test that only a true princess can pass. Well, you take a dozen mattresses, take one teeny tiny little pee, and then run a DNA test. See if it matches the queen. Pretty straightforward. So I guess the Book of Wonder calls for her to climb a mountain, bring a cup of water down from the well to make the sleeping flowers blue. This doesn't seem especially princessy. I mean, where in the book does it say she has to climb a freaking mountain in a goddamn ball gown? Is this really training a Navy SEAL by having a tea party? Oh, hey, look, it's Dark Heart! <gasps> Be brave, little Alice. Believe in yourself, because here's the most important part. While others all remember to use their heads, you just remember to use your heart. That's right. Remember to use your heart. Uh -huh. Yeah, that was okay. But it's no pink power in the house! You just remember to use your heart. That's right. Remember to use your heart. Uh -huh. I said remember to use your heart. That's right. You remember. Uh, yeah, do you think you could give me a lift up or something? I mean, the rap is nice, but I have to climb this mountain in heels for God's sake. <laughs> Nothing? Nada? Okay, I'm just gonna act like you have a point in this movie. So she gets the water from the well and somehow climbs down without spilling it, but then comes across a unicorn, which she can't help but give the water to. And wouldn't you know it, that was part of the test. What a shock. But it's not over yet. She still has to make the flowers blue. Now how the hell is she gonna do that? Well, I guess deep down inside, maybe she was really special enough to find the heart and courage to rule over a kingdom, discovering that she's much stronger than she ever thought possible. You're wrong. I'm the fake. Or they just switch places. That, that works too. Double, double your refreshment. Double, double your enjoyment. So the jig is up and the wizard is sent to jail, allowing Alice to finally return home. That must be a pretty entertaining story to tell the folks. Where's Grumpy going? I got a pretty good idea. Oh yeah, would you like to know what this running gag with Grumpy being hungry all the time finally amounts to? Oh, you're gonna be so happy! <laughs> Grumpy. <laughs> now hold your tushy tags, it's time I spoke. Can't remember when I ate last. I've been starving since we started and that's no joke. Man, I was fading fast. Really? You're giving us a rap. A grumpy rap. This is what the whole movie has been building that goddamn joke up to this whole time. That's really dumb. Well, I'm filling up my belly with ice cream and jelly and topping it with pickled beets. Mm-mm. Pickled beets? Uh-huh. 
dropping it with pickle beats. Oh yeah. But hey, on the bright side, at least we don't want to hear a rap from the Cheshire Cat. Yo, Grumpy Bear, I gotta hand it to you. <sighs> Princess and the Queen of Hearts, and did right by my man Stan. You put the wizard in his place, now everything's safe, everything in Wonderland. You'll meet Coopers and Troopers, the Princess and the others, hanging with the plumbers, you'll be hooked on the brothers to the bridge. I can't wait to eat, uh-huh, with the Care Bear family. That's right, pickled beets. Oh, oh ha, ha. and that joke worked so well the first time, you just had to repeat it, huh? Well, repeat this. That's my socks! They all do. But this one in particular is just so forgettable. The story is fluff, the characters are fluff. The only thing that's kinda neat is when you see something creatively weird in Wonderland, but even then that's very rare and it's usually played very safe and conservative. So there's not much to look at. While the second one was probably worse, I have to admit, that one at least had Dark Heart! Who is much more memorable than anything else in this flick. Hey, except for that. All I gotta say is I'm glad I'm done with these movies. They're far too cutesy and bland for my taste. I'm a nostalgia critic, and I don't care. Did someone say care? Excuse me one moment. Who's that coming from somewhere up in the sky? A firefly. Pull that care bear's countdown and send a wish out through the air. And send a wish out through the air. Pickled beets. Oh. I'm just not special. <laughs>